What's going on guys? Today we are back in Forza Horizon 3, continuing on on our Let's Play. This is episode 30! 30 episodes, man! That's crazy. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. It's been a blast to record so far. And, and, there's been something that's been bothering uh, a couple of you in the comments of, uh, of the previous videos. And, um, yeah, I, I have a festival to upgrade, and I've had that for a couple of episodes now. Something you should know is that I record a lot of these videos like in advance and stuff like that So I'll record them like in a batch and then release them like spread out and stuff like that Anyways because I do my videos like that it means that I don't get your comments for a couple of episodes and It meant that I didn't realize that I could expand the festival and I've had one for quite a while so Luckily for for start for, for the start of today's episode We're already at the Outback Festival I'm gonna expand it. Like <laughs> We've done good. Okie dokie, little Aston Martin. Pulling up in the yellow Aston Martin. You know what I really want to try driving? I really want to try driving the... What's it called? It's the... It's the is it the GT12 Aston Martin? It's the orange and white one. The cream school. Anyway, so there is level four for our, for our festival now. And I mean, we've got a bunch of cool... Actually, you know what? It's like, here's the problem with, with what I just said. Because we have, or because I, because we expanded the Outback Festival, all our races are going to be like off-road, I think. You Surprise me. Better not let them go to waste. Maybe. Anything that's not off-road, there's like nothing to do. You've given me like five events so far. There's like no races. Okay, well, the races that I am getting seem to be on the road for the most part. So because I'm not really sure what's coming, I feel like we should build something new. That we haven't built before that can do a little bit of everything. Now last time I tried to do this, I decided to build an MX-5 and that didn't go particularly well. So I'm not gonna build an MX-5 today. What I will try and build, however, is one hell of a rally car. Now I remember a couple of episodes ago, I unlocked something rather cool. That would be the Mini Cooper. That one. The old one. It's a 1965 Mini Cooper. You can get it only from the perks from unlocking all the perks in one of the categories anyways once you've done that you get the mini cooper and the thing looks freaking awesome and i don't see why we shouldn't make this into one hell of a little off-road rally car so we've got some pretty solid like bumpers and stuff and whatnot so let's start up with this so we've got like a bull bar on the front i don't really want to put a bull bar on the front i feel like that would ruin the look of the little mini oh the little tire on the roof and a little rear wing okay Side skirts, can we make it wide body? Oh, we could toss mud flaps on. Okay, that's pretty cool. We could toss on the rally lights though. Those look pretty cool. Should we make this into like a rally mini? We could do that. Like, yeah, check that out. That looks pretty, that looks pretty cool, I think. Anyways, engines we have for this thing. Let's try to keep this thing kind of slow, actually. I feel like something slower could be kind of cool. So let's go with a 1.6 rally engine. We'll make it all-wheel drive. Good, good. And then let's toss on some rally tires because I don't want those 1965 tires on this car. And then other than that, I think we're just gonna widen up our tires and toss a roll cage in. And this is gonna be like rallying on a budget. Yeah. So, I mean, the car was free. And I mean, we did toss on some kind of expensive stuff. But still, it, it shouldn't be too bad. This is definitely rally car on a budget. I mean, sure, let's give myself 50k for upgrades on this thing. Why not? Let's, let's, let's try to challenge ourselves. This thing is built like a rally car. Check that launch. That launch is 10. That's unbelievable. That's really, really good. Uh, can we get a bit better braking? How much do brakes cost? Oh, only a thousand. Sure, I'll get some better brakes then. I guess I'm done then? I, didn't, I, I feel like I haven't done very much. But we'll call that rally cross on a budget. 50k budget. With a, cheap, with a free car from 1965, not bad. I think we just need to get this loaded up with a with a rally paint job, and then we'll be good to go. Oh, what the hell are these? One thing I'm going to try to do for the rest of this series is whenever I build a car, I'm going to try to find, like, AR-12 paint jobs. So if you guys have any, feel free to uh, upload them, and then make sure in the description you put AR-12 in the, in the description so I can try to find them. But I, I, I want to try to do that. I want to showcase some of your guys' designs. So if you have anything cool... Either feel free to tweet it to me, put it on Instagram, and tag me in the picture and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I, I want to try using some of your guys' designs. Because usually in this in this series, I just don't paint my cars, and I feel like I should. Anyways, we're going with a Blue Crew Mini Cooper. I don't have my Blue Crew shirt on, but you can buy Blue Crew stickers. Link's in the description down below. If you do buy a Blue Crew sticker, it comes to you looking like this. 
And you can't really see what it says, but I promise you it says Blue Crew in there. I have one on my Subaru. It looks pretty awesome. Anyways, we've got an Austin Cooper S. Now, I'm not going to do any tuning with this thing just because I'm lazy and I don't feel like I need to. I mean, the gears are going to be a little short, but we know that already. Rally car doesn't, it doesn't, we can deal with the short gears. So let's go around, find some new stuff to do. I want to do stuff like, okay, okay, so we've got an undiscovered, okay, let's do the PR stunt first. Do the race. Cool. I don't have a map on, I've just realized. I promise I wasn't doing challenges before this. I hope you guys do check out some of the challenges that we have coming out, though. They are very, very cool. Raymond and I have been hard at work at getting some amazing challenges down for you guys. And the, the ones we've done so far are so, so good. When this comes out, there's a challenge later today that's unbelievable. And then next week as well, we have a crazy, crazy one. So anyways, just stay tuned for stuff like that. Keep checking out the videos. Thank you guys for doing that. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the support on all the non-Forza videos as well. It's like, Forza is awesome and stuff. But it's just like, I play other games as well. I try to play I try to play a little bit of everything, whether it be... Oh, is this like a speed trap or speed zone? Oh, it's a speed... Oh, I've got to come from the other way there. God damn it. But yeah, one of the things I've been wanting to do for a little while is bring back games like F1 uh, 2016, which you guys love so much. And I had... I brought that back last week, and I had one of the most epic races I think I've ever had while playing the game. And then I tried playing Ride, and that was super cool. Then I even started up playing some mobile games and stuff like that. So if you missed anything, I'll include a bunch of links in the description down below. And uh, you can check out everything you've missed throughout the week. Anyways, there we go. There's not a crap little... little. Is that a barn find over there? I thought I got all the barn finds. Oh, shit. We got another... Well, I'm not doing that now. Oh, God. Why is it always buggies? That That's always a bad sign whenever you see buggies there. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go classic rally cars because, you know, I feel adventurous today. Wait, was that? That's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. I wanted to do an exhibition. Thank you. You know what really grinds my gears? When you want to do an exhibition race and it's the game's like, no, today you're doing a championship. You got to back out and fix it. It's just like, ugh. Anyways, we all good though. We in our Mini Cooper. I saw, that's the old Renault, and we've got a Lancia up there, something or rather. But this race did suggest the buggies, which is, is kind of nerve-wracking, because I learned from previous- Oh god, this car doesn't turn. But yeah, I learned from previous episodes that if it says you need a, a dune buggy for it, you do do a bit of fancy off-roading, which is making me kind of nervous, because this car isn't particularly good at off-roading. It is a little Mini Cooper at the end of the day. So I don't know what to expect. I, I I can tell you right away though, is it doesn't turn very well. Moving slowly up through the ranks, up into seventh place now, still on our first lap. Oh, the mini! He's gone! Oh, the red Gavin! Gavin, piss off! Holy shit, those Renos are fast. May have built the wrong car with this mini, but I mean budget off that Lancia is way more than 50 grand. That Renault's also way more than 50 grand. Probably am I. I have no idea how much it costs. Oh, Jesus Christ, Mechberg coming in hot. I'm gonna jump Mechberg. I'm gonna jump Mechberg. I'm gonna totally jump Mechberg. Oh, there's a Renault that died. I think it was Gavin again. Up into sixth place around Mechberg, around the outside. We're still wheel to wheel. Push him out. Oh, he's got he's got six. He's got six. Little switchback. Oh, the Renault's fighting with the Lancia. That's a big drift. Oh, my God. Look at this. I'm not gonna get first, I don't think, but damn, this is a good race. All right, nearing on the end of the second lap. Mechberg still causing you problems. Oh, the Renault, yes, moved up to six. Gonna go around the outside on the Renault. It doesn't turn very well. He's got the short line. We're going side by side through the corner. I've got that place up to fifth. Now we got a Lancia to deal with. Where are these guys in one, two, three? I have no idea what they're in. All I know is that they're gone. Move, you French Renault. Move out. Oh my God, it's bouncy, this, this mini. Oh, goodbye, Renault. Goodbye, Renault. I mean, that was the Renault? Lancia up to fourth. Yes. Where's the AI? The AI up here. One, two, and three are slowing down. Ooh, ooh. Oh no, we're on our final lap. I won't be able to make anything happen. But, that was a good little comeback for the Mini. I mean, here's the problem with it. I don't really like the way it turns. It doesn't turn very well. It's just like, it almost like it's understeering constantly. 
I will turn like hard right and it just won't turn. It will keep going straight. And I don't really know how to fix that. I did upgrade my front tire width, which might be causing it, but still. Oh, and look at that. All the new fans. We are a million fans away from our festival expansion. That is huge. That is awesome. I love that. Oh, we are so close to the end of this series. That's unreal. So where are we heading now? Let's see our map. Do we have any more? Oh, we've got a bucket list up there near that, uh, that thing up there. But we've also got this undiscovered route, which I think I know what that is. I have a feeling that's going to be on our twisty road, friend. Oh, you know what I should be doing? I totally mentioned this a long time ago, how I needed that... God damn it, I missed you. Did I get you? No, I didn't get you. I, I, I spoke about that achievement where you have to convoy for like 100 miles with people. So I need to constantly be driving from event to event to event in a convoy, which is really annoying because the convoy crashes into you 24 seven. And I just haven't been doing it recently because we, I was focusing on anyone. Yes, I was focusing on the street races and whatnot to finish those off. And last episode, we got the Lambo. So I don't need to worry about street races anymore. So basically for the end of the series now, I can be convoying with everyone everywhere I go, which is going to be great. And here's the other problem with the Mini Ah, uh, that Lancey is doing a wheelie. Here's the other problem with the old Mini Cooper. Top speed of 135. It's not particularly good. I was sort of aiming to build something that could be good just about everywhere. And it seems like I built something that can't really do anything. I mean, it does rally driving decently. Okay, thank God this is a trail race. But it's like, yeah. All right, Mini Cooper. Race number two. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Exterior of you, please. Oh, God. Let's see how the Mini Cooper can do here. This is a trail race, which should mean it's off-road. I'm really hoping it does, because if it's not, boy, I'm stuffed. Anyways, up to sixth place right there. We've got the same group of guys here again we're racing against. So we're racing against the... The Renos and the and the Lancias and whatnot, and I'm crashing constantly. I mean, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We're doing okay. All right. All right. All right. We good. I am in seventh place, but we've got some twisties up ahead, which I can rip the handbrake on and hopefully close that gap. Lancia, out of my way. I've dropped down to eighth place. The Reno stole that. It's Gavin who stole the inside line. Gavin, I'm going to get you back for that one, buddy. Oh, I was in the wrong gear. I was in the wrong gear. We're wheel to wheel, Gavin and I. Oh, God. Oh, God. Guys, 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 guys. Stop. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. All right. Sixth place now. Everyone's crashing into just about everything. So, I mean, that's good. I'm trying to be as good a rally driver as I can. All right. I'm up to fourth. I am up to fourth. And I can actually see the guys who are winning the race this time. So, that's good. Wrong gear! Gears are hard in this car. It's got such weird gear ratios. I do not like it. Oh, and the Renault up the inside line, down to fifth. Make that fourth with a little cheeky corner cut. Not gonna go in the water. Water slows you down. Don't do that. Water slows you down again. Avoid it as much as possible. And try to close this gap between myself and these guys. One, two, three. We need to get them. Oh, I'm pushing as hard as I can and there's nothing I can do. Oh, that gap might be shrinking. That gap might be shrinking. I took a couple good lines through there. Although the water splash. That was a pretty weak water splash. We may have got away with that. Oh, there's a Renault backwards in the road. We're up to third. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Come on, Mini. It is so slow in a straight line. How is that even possible? How much horsepower do we have? It must be zero. So it was Lancia- Wow. Lancia Alpine Mini. Alpine, Alpine, Alpine. Mini, Mini. God damn it. We didn't choose a very good car. It's like, yeah, but we're on a budget too, right? So, I mean, the Mini was free and then we put 50k worth of upgrades into it. So, I mean, it's not that, that bad, really. I mean, obviously, if we did want to go in and max this thing out like crazy, I feel like we could have done a much better job because, one, I would have not have swapped in the worst engine because I, I don't have the best engine in this thing. And then I wouldn't have, I, I don't, I feel like I shouldn't have upgraded the front tire width. It just, it just makes it hard to turn. All right. So we're all the way down here. Where should we go for our next event? We have like no new stuff now. It's like, are any of you guys new? Are you new? No, we've done that. We've done all these exhibitions. Oh, we haven't done you over here. The exhibition race. And it's a cross country event. All right, let's go up there. I mean, we've got quite a ways to drive. Can you come with me? Just gonna 
wait for you to... Thank you. You are driving incredibly slow, Mr. Nemesis. Oh, the mini drift car! Holy shit, it's actually... How does this slide so well? What? How does this slide so well? It must be that weight. It weighs nothing and has, I mean, it has pretty decent power for what it is. Holy shit! That's 100k drift points! So I haven't built a rally car. I've built a drift car. Three stars? You're having a laugh! Alrighty, little. I ca almost called it an alpha slash mint. Uh, what? I almost called it a bunch of strange names. Anyways, that looks like a much better start. I didn't change the assists, I didn't change anything. I think we just got a decent launch. We're up into fourth place already. Make that third place with a guy screwing up there. Oh, I do love this. Going through the fields and whatnot, apparently the mini's quite good at. I mean, the rally tire, or the extra tire on the roof is a bit misleading. I mean, usually when you see that, a car is going to be quite good at off-roading. And I mean, it's not bad, this thing. Oh, make that second place. Oh, and almost back down to third. No, I'm going to hold my second. No, never mind. Those Renaults are really proper fast. It's like, I'm giving it everything right now. We're driving smooth. We're full throttle. We're in the right gear. And the Renaults just fly past. I'm going to try to take a short line through. They take a short line through because they're on the hardest difficulty. God damn it, man. Oh, oh, one Renault messed up. Up to third. Oh, closing the gap. We're 36% of the way through the race. Oh my god, I nearly I nearly completely tipped. I hit like a piece of corn. Oh my god. You would have died. You would have died, Mr. Renault. I'm sorry. You you Okay, okay, okay. I take that back. I take that back. I take that back. I died. The mini's not the best car in the water, man. <laughs> it slows down a bit. It's not not very lifted is it oh sorry mr bm come on in fifth i really want to do well in this race oh sweet jump i do love those how they're just like in the world like little like jumps like that whoever's idea that was they need a raise they need a raise big time i still cannot oh shit oh never mind i apparently can catch up to these guys all i need them to do is fight each other which i mean this guy in first place is not doing he has no one to fight with However, we have 25% of this race to go. I feel like we might be able to make something happen. I don't know why, but I feel like, I feel like we might be able to. Come on, keep pushing, keep pushing. We need these short lines right now, 82%. I am closing that gap. Can we get the mini its first win? Come on, through the water. Oh, every, holy shit, everyone's behind me. This is like running away from like a horde of zombies. Oh my god. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Oh yes! Oh yes! 5%! Please don't max out speed. Please don't max out speed. Please don't. Want... Yes! Yes! The mini takes it! First place! Oh! Just by 0.3 seconds. Alrighty, some decent monies. 15k credits. It's not a bad race for, for 15k credits. XP-wise, we should level up. And indeed we do. Lovely, lovely. And we're level 304 now. I love having this gold wristband now. It looks so... Are they still wristbands? I don't know what the significance of it is, but I'm gonna... Every goddamn time! Every time! I'm the only person in the entire world who gets 2k on every single wheel spin. Yeah, I like that design. I do like that. Alright, I'd really like to go and try a bucket list. Maybe we should go try this bucket list. Undiscovered PR stunt. It says all the way up there. Alright, let's go. We've got 3.2 miles to go. Hopefully I can get myself a drive guitar to, uh, to come cruise with me. Oh, 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 hello. Are you coming? Yes! <laughs> I basically just drive past other drive guitars and I smash my horn until they come. Works well. I feel like I've never been here before. I, I feel like I've never seen those hay bales before. I do remember the hay bale field in Forza Horizon 2, but I don't remember it in this game, like, at all. Alright, so we got 1.1 miles to go. Okay, okay, okay. Mountain climbing in a mini is not a good idea. Well, I called it, didn't I? did say it wasn't a good idea. Then I smashed into a rock. All right, so what is this bucket list? Oh, I feel like I've done this bucket list before. Oh, I totally have done this bucket list before. 
This is, I did this one online like a really, really long time ago. This is the LaFerrari where you have to get to a certain place and it's really, really far. And it's actually really, really hard to do. Race to the destination. From when I played this online, it was truly very difficult. We have a minute and 15 seconds to drive 4.3 miles. That is far. However, this LaFerrari is basically the definition of fast. We should be doing near around 250 miles an hour, basically all the way there. The destination is actually over there. So it is a constant left-hand corner, this basically. But I think we should have this, providing we don't crash into too much AI. If we crash into any AI, any AI for that, for a matter of fact, I don't think we'll win. But there's a little lift there, no, no braking at all. I think we might be okay. Two miles to go now. No braking for that. Absolutely fly through there. We've totally got this in my LaFerrari. 241 miles an hour. Five seconds to go. 500 yards to go. Fly there. Fly there. Oh, that is gonna be... Oh! <laughs> How close was that? How close was that? Can I get like a leaderboard on that? Oh my god. God, that was unreal how close that was. Oh, wow. We're going to get a lot of fans for that. Half a million fans away, boys. Let's go finish today's episode off with a quick little PR start. Let's see if we can grab a dry guitar somewhere along the way. Helios, you will do. Please. Thank you. Anyway, so conclusion on the little mini Cooper that could, or well, in this case, couldn't. It's not great. I if I was to build this again, I wouldn't. Uh, I would recommend something else if you choose to go off-roading, especially uh, when basically the entire time you are trailblazing, regardless of whether I got my win or not. I just feel like it's not great. It doesn't turn particularly well. It has a terrible top speed. Uh, I did do that on purpose, obviously. I put in the wrong engine, per se. What is this? Is this going to be a speed trap? It is a speed trap. All right. Let's try to set something decent on here. Oh. Oh, it's not a speed zone. Well, balls. I got one star. I earned a, a 111,000 fans for one star. That's a bit embarrassing. Well, anyways, on that bombshell, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the like button if you didn't. Subscribe for more videos like this in your subscription box. The giveaway, I think, by the time this is going up, is still going on. So there's only a couple days left. Check it out. Links in the description down below. Win yourself a copy of Forza Horizon 3 for the Xbox One. So thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!